Hey guys, so I'm heading back to Bands for Arms because they got, I don't wanna say the rest of the Batman Funko Pops. I really should have picked up that Funko exclusive, the Funko Shop, the, the one with the wings. That one is gonna be a Funko Shop exclusive, which you did have. Uh, you guys already know I had reviewed a couple of the Batman Pops already, the Bruce Wayne Unmasked, or the Batman Unmasked and the Batman, uh, which both are gonna be exclusives. Uh, but now he has the Funko Rides selena kyle he also has a chase i'm not going to be picking up the chase of selena kyle and um, so there's a batman version i'm getting there's a selena kyle the riddler and the pop rise which has a new batmobile i'm waiting for that 10 inch one so pretty sure he'll have it like within the next few days i'm pretty sure he will so we're gonna head over here again guys if you want to pick up anything from bands for arms check out their instagram people have been asking me where can they contact uh, bands for arms it's just bands for arms or you can google their store if you're local in the southern california and you can check out their shop but let's go see what they got oh they got a sale going on out here i'm assuming bands for arms all right the bag is secure i'll show you guys what i got at home all right, guys, so we are back home, and this is everything that I picked up. So I got the Riddler on the left. I got Batman in the Batmobile, and then we have Selena Kyle and Batman. He did have the chase, okay, guys, of Selena Kyle. So if you guys want to, you know, interested in it, let him, you know, send him a DM. Um, but well, let's look at the packaging on this. So this is similar to the previous ones that I already reviewed, and I'll bring those out at, uh, towards the end of the video so you guys can see a comparison with all the ones that I have. But here we have Selena Kyle, so she's not called the Catwoman just yet I mean I don't know if she's going to be in the film not too sure the chase of her is unmasked but it might be different clothing too so there's Selena Kyle we have the Batman now this one here he actually has I, I'm not it looks like it's almost tentacles I'm not sure if those are the uh the grapnel or it's the little spikes that's shooting out of his his uh his his what do you call it? his gauntlets so I'm not too sure what that is but he's got them on both both sides so the back or the side right here you can see the image of it and then on the back again the batman no penguin yet and no jumbo funko pop those are the two that i'm really looking for uh well the jumbo batman and then we have the riddler so this will be kind of like a close-up to see exactly what the outfit looks like so i'm really excited to get this one out of packaging there's a side there's the back and then we have the rides this is the batmobile this is pretty cool this actually looks really nice i um, don't know if the batman's removable it's been a while since I picked up a rides vehicle, but let's get all of these out of the packaging and uh, we're going to see if these are pickups or pass. Okay, guys, so here we go. We got all of them outside of the packaging and we're going to take close looks at each one. So we'll start with the cat well, or Selena Kyle. I want to call her Catwoman. So here she is. Now she does have a, a ski mask. So that looks pretty cool. I mean, this is obviously probably early in her career. So we'll probably get like a full-on cat, well, more accurate Catwoman costume later on. But she is holding on to her whip, and then she's got her heels. But the outfit itself does look pretty good. Hopefully this thing is, there we go, we'll try to focus in on that. Hopefully, you know, we get a more traditional outfit maybe in the next film, depends really. But she does have a little bit of articulation, and you can see kind of the ears there. And she does come with a clear base, so just remember that, guys, because I've thrown away so many pops and not, or the boxes, and throwing away the bases with him because she cannot stand on her own. And then we'll take a look at the Batman pop. So you can see here the outfit. It's in an action pose. I love the cowl. I love how Funko did the cowl for Batman because, again, you can see the stitching on it. There's the cape kind of flapping in the wind. And then you have the gauntlets here. You have whatever is shooting out of those that area where he holds those spikes. I have no idea what that is yet, but he's got them shooting out in both sides, which actually looks really cool. So I didn't know this is this was a uh, Batman that was going to be displayed like this. I thought it was just like another Batman in some kind of a stance, but this is really, really cool. I'm really digging the the uh, pose and then you know him shooting out his weapons. And there's a kind of like a close look on the armor. So there's that one. And then we have the Riddler. So this is pretty cool because he also, you know, he's got that like, it's kind of like iconic now for this character, you know, I'm taking out the duct tape so he has the duct tape stretching it out right there he's got this little mouthpiece his little mask you can see the hair so okay so it looks like it's just a front mask a uh, front mask that's covering the face i thought it was like a whole entire mask that he wears over his head and then you have his glasses clear plastic and then his green outfit and there is a question mark that you can see in his in his jacket and he's got little buttons there some gray pants and then you can see he's got some big black boots 
and that you can make out the laces and everything. He's got a really nice, like, glossy paint to him. So I'm really digging this this look for the Riddler. It's something different. And again, I don't think this movie is what it seems. I think this movie is going to have like a lot of twists and turns, especially for this character. And then lastly, we have the Funko Rides. So here is the Batmobile. Now, one thing about the Funko Rides, I really wish they would just make the wheels move. These wheels do not move. They're stuck in place. I just think, I just like, just do it, guys. Just make these into actual movable vehicles. Um, there's the bottom. It's got a little bit of, eh, it doesn't have any detail on the bottom. Here's the back. So the back does have a lot of detail with the exhausts. You can see the tail lights. Uh, it would have been cool if they added a little bit of that blue flame on here or a fire effect on the back. But there's a top look at it. And then here's the front hood. Looks really nice. The rims look good, too. And then there's the front of it, a grill. And then there's the other side. And then Batman, I thought he was going to be removable. Because I remember when they used to, when Funko used to make rides, the pops were removable. But this one is not. He's You can make him out in there. He's fully seated in there. So it's not, it's not bad. I mean, at least they didn't use just like a regular pop. But it does look really good. Let me see how much I can focus in to see. Actually, probably not going to see it a whole lot in there. But uh, it, you can, he's holding on to the steering wheel. So he is in a driving position. And here you go, guys. Here are all of the pops that I have from the Batman. I got all of these, again, guys, from Bands for Arms. So definitely give them a, uh, a look up if you're in the area or send them a DM. Uh, check out their social media or Google them, Bands for Arms, if you're local, so you can get the address. But I'm digging these Batman pops. Now, there is more to be announced. Again, there's a Penguin. There's a Penguin with the Chase. There's a Jumbo Batman. There's a Bruce Wayne and uh, there's the, the Funko Shop exclusive Batman, which I should have picked up, but I'll eventually pick it up. It's the one when he has those wings where he's gliding. But this is really cool. I'm really digging all of them. Love the Riddler. Love the Batman and the Batmobile. The Catwoman is really cool. And then this Batman, the action pose. This one over here is going to be an exclusive. He's kind of like battle damage, the one on the, on the far right there. That one will be an exclusive. But if I had to pick right now which one, is my favorite one. I gotta. I still gotta go with the unmasked Bruce Wayne. I'm really loving how that one came out. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you guys think about these Batman pops. Are you gonna pick them up? Is it a pass? Are you excited for the movie? Which one is your favorite so far? Let me know. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Bands for Arms, for helping me get these, and thank you guys for watching. Later.